Thanks for tuning in. Ham Talk Live will be on the air shortly. Please stand by. Thanks for tuning in. Ham Talk Live will be on the air shortly. Please stand by. This episode of Ham Talk Live is brought to you by Tower Electronics. For connectors, cables, and more, call 920-435-2973 or visit pl-259.com. And by Radio Waves. Listen for your chance to win a DX80 dipole later in the show and check out their antenna products at Radio Waves, that's W-A-V-Z dot com. It's Ham Radio. Hey, good evening, everyone. It's time for another episode of Ham Talk Live, and it's number 60, Contest University 2017 with Tim Duffy, K3LR, recorded live on Thursday, April 13th, 2017. I'm your host, Neil Rapp, WB9VPG. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Ham Talk Live. Tonight, we're joined by Tim Duffy, K3LR, and we will take your calls live in just a few minutes. Last week on the show, Emmett W0QH was here, chief engineer from Radio Waves, to talk about some spring antenna projects and maintenance. And so if you missed that show, all you have to do is go to hamtalklive.com, and you can listen anytime, or you can download the podcast version on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, TuneIn, or SoundCloud, and we're also over on YouTube. Tonight starts our official countdown to the Dayton Hamvention with a series of previews of upcoming events at Hamvention. And Radio Waves has graciously allowed us to give away a DX80 off-center fed dipole to one lucky winner each week. So later in the show, I'll give you a chance to call in and win. So be sure to listen to the show live whenever you can. And uh, next week, we'll be talking about the Youth Forum with Carol Perry. Then uh, the Spurious Emissions Band will be on the show. And uh, then we'll have some updates from the folks at the Hamvention with the uh, Dayton Amateur Radio Association with... The latest news direct from the organizers, and um, then we'll have our final preview show will be on Hamvention Eve uh, live uh, before a studio audience at the Spring Hill Suites, Dayton South, Miamisburg. Uh, So if you have a chance to drop by there and be on the show, we'd love for you to do that. If you can't, we'd also love if you call in and uh, tell us about your favorite Hamvention moments, and uh, we'll have a whole show Uh, just with listeners calling in and live audience members. So looking forward to that. Also, uh, before we take our break, we want to remind everybody that April 18th is World Amateur Radio Day. To celebrate, the World Radio Network and the World Friendship Net will be on the air for 10 hours starting on April 18th at 1600 UTC. That's noon Eastern and 9 Pacific on Echolink on the World Conference Server, and that's IRLP node 9251 for the third annual special event. There'll be a special event QSL available on request, and they have five different net controls from all over the world during that net. So uh, you can email John Dereike, W2JLD, at W2JLD2 at gmail.com if you need some more information on that. And there's also a story on uh, on Newsline about that, so you can check that out. All right, we'll get your questions ready to go about Contest University after 
uh, the interview, you can give us a call. The phone number to call is 812-NET-HAM-1. That's 812-638-4261. Or you can Skype us. Our username is HamTalkLive. You can also tweet us. Uh, our Twitter handle is at HamTalkLive. But uh, first, we'll talk to Tim, and uh, we'll do that right after this word from Tower Electronics right here on Ham Talk Live. This episode of Ham Talk Live is brought to you in part by Tower Electronics. Tower Electronics has been the Ham's Dime Store since 1978. When you need connectors, mobile and handheld antennas, cables, or adapters, visit Scott or Jill at a Ham Fest near you. Or you can order online at pl-259.com or call 920-435-2973. Stock up on those supplies like PL-259 and end connectors, SMA adapters, audio cables, soldering supplies, mobile antennas, and ham sticks. Their silver-plated end connectors are even used on the International Space Station. Tower Electronics carries MFJ, Comet, Daiwa, OPEC, Workman, and Hampro products. And don't miss their 0% off sale going on now. Tower Electronics, online at pl-259.com. Proud to sponsor this episode of Ham Talk Live. Look for me at Dayton. I'll be the one wearing the Yesu hat. You're listening to Ham Talk Live with Neil Rapp. Thanks to Scott and Jill at Tower Electronics for sponsoring the show as usual tonight. They'll be at Calhoun, Georgia on April 22nd, Gainesville, Florida on April 29th, and Cedarburg, Wisconsin on May 6th, and Sandwich, Illinois on May 7th. And of course, the Dayton Hamvention. Call 920-435-2973 or visit their website at pl-259.com and tell them you heard it on Ham Talk Live. Just uh, got some soldering irons today from them. I um, was glad to uh, get those over at school uh, so our students can build some kits. So thanks to, to them for that. Uh, we're on the air every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, right here at hamtalklive.com. And uh, if you miss the show, we're, we're on the archive on the website, and we're also on most popular podcasting sites. Well, our guest this evening is Tim Duffy, K3LR. He is the founder and chairman of of Contest University. In addition to being the director of Contest University, Tim is the president of his local club, the Mercer County Amateur Radio Club, the Radio Club of America, uh, the Western Pennsylvania ARRL section manager and chief operating officer of DX Engineering. Tim is a member of the CQ Contest Hall of Fame and was on Team USA for the World Radio Team Championship four times. And he is a graduate of the Pennsylvania State University. And he is the 2015 Amateur of the Year Award winner presented by the Dayton Hamvention Awards Committee. So, Tim, thanks so much for coming back on the show and talking about Contest University. It's great to be here, Neil. Thanks for having me. Well, you put on such a, a fabulous event each year, and we, we didn't want to... Uh, uh, neglect talking about that as, as we're all making our plans for the new uh, Hamvention home and and trying to figure out what uh, what events we're going to and so Contest University is one of those things that uh, that you just don't want to miss and so tell us a little bit just a, a, a brief history of Contest University and and what it's all about for those people who may not be familiar with it. Well you know uh Back uh, many years ago, uh, there were uh, the beginnings of Contest University actually happened, I think, in the living rooms of the Yankee Clipper Contest Club, where they would get together for a weekend event of talking about uh, and teaching various contesting strategies. And also the Potomac Valley Radio Club, uh, back uh, several years ago, had a, a contest seminar where they got together a lot of great uh, contest experts from that club, the PVRC, and uh, spent a whole Saturday educating. Um, what I did was I said, let's take it to the next level. Let's make it Contest University, and uh, let's name it 
there's something very catchy like CTU. Some people like to say it's CU, but it's really CTU, and that's CONTEST, and that uh, T is capital, CONTEST University. Um, and uh, it has links back to the popular CT logging software that Kenny Wolf, uh, K1EA, did uh, back in the uh, late 80s and uh, early 90s and, and really revolutionized the way we, uh, we log contest uh, contest logging and the contest logging software. So uh, started in 2007. You know, in 2006, Neil, um, I was very fortunate to be nominated and selected to be in the CQ Contest Hall of Fame. And then um, my commitment to the contest fraternity in amateur radio was, let's take it to the next level. And so in 2007, we started Contest University and uh, we, this will be our 11th year in Dayton. Last year was our 10-year anniversary. And what a great event it was, um, 250 students. This year, 11 years of doing Contest University in Dayton, we'll have 300 uh, students and professors attend Contest University. So every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And every year it's new material. Uh, some of the professors teach every year, like Frank Donovan, W3LPL, uh, has taught almost every year at Contest University, and uh, he, he brings a wealth of knowledge about low-band contesting, multi-op contesting, station building, um, team building, and uh, this year we're very excited to have uh, some new professors like Dan Zetlin, K2ZWE. And uh, Dan is going to be, his focus is on beginning contesters and starting out and taking the next step. Uh, we're also very excited to have Dr. Tamitha Scove, who is really, you know, one of the world's experts when it comes to propagation and space weather. And now that we're in that low part, getting into that low part of the sunspot cycle, Neil, it's so important to understand what's going on. Is it an old sunspot, a new sunspot? You know, everybody asks, when is the new cycle going to start? When is it going to start to get better? <laughs> and I don't know that we've bottomed out yet. <laughs> no, that, that's sort of the bad news. And uh, But it's nice to have some science behind it. And that's where Dr. Scove is just, uh, she's a rock star. And so... We're really uh, excited to have her this year. Um, we're we're going to have a lot of special things that are going to go on. We have more scholarships than we've ever had before from high school, grade school, and college students. And we're so thankful for our relationship with the Northern California DX Foundation, the NCDXF, and you can look them up on the internet, as they have funded all of the expense that it takes for uh, the uh, signing up to Contest University uh, for the students that are under the age of 25. So that, I mean, we're very, very uh, that's probably the most exciting part uh, this year here in 2017 is the number of uh, young students that, that will be coming to take part and uh, share their experience in contesting and also learn some new things. So, you know, the, there's there's so much of this that, um, that ha I mean, last year we had the CEO of the ARL, Tom Gallagher, address the crowd. This year we have a, a few special guests that will be uh, addressing all the students. Uh, Rob Sherwood, who we saved kind of the best for last, and uh, he, he's going to give a whole new talk on, uh, some radio equipment that has redefined how we look at, at transceivers. And so a lot of people make buying decisions based upon Rob Sherwood's guidance. And we're so thrilled to have him come back. And his wife, Terry, travels with him uh, from Colorado. So that, that's really special. And, you know, how, how about registration? What do you think about that, Neil? 
Yeah. Now, now I was a little disappointed. I, I and I told you this. But the last two years, I've been able to bring over some of the members of my high school uh, amateur radio club over there, and we've learned so much from there. And, and I was disappointed that that looks like this year we're not going to have any students able to go because of other conflicts that's going to keep them away from from Dayton entirely uh that weekend but uh I signed up I'm ready to go and I'm going to go and 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 then I'll take that information and fill them in uh when I get back this year but uh you know NCDXF uh sponsoring us 2 years ago uh you know got the ball started and and we went did it again last year and and we hope to to keep that going but yeah registration i i signed up and and did it it took maybe a minute or two at most uh went right on through um no problem at all and and got everything in and and signed up and ready to go for this year so uh how are the numbers looking so far the the numbers are looking great uh neil that we're ahead of uh where we were last year at this time, which was a record-breaking uh, number of uh, folks attending. So this year, I think, uh, you know, we're going to top the 300 number, which is uh, is unbelievable. The first year, I thought we would be doing great to get 50 people to show up, and 145 showed up. And now to have 300, I mean, it, it's, it's really, really special. Um, so... The whole website, Neil, was uh, redone here uh, this past year, and we're so thankful to uh, Scott, KA9FOX at QTH.com for all his help and uh, his guidance and his design of the website. And Terry, Kate MNJ, does all of the uh, the update work and uh, making sure that uh, our sponsors get listed correctly. And uh, she also makes sure that all the students, we get the their right T-shirt size and we get the right certificate names and all of the special stuff that goes into Contest University. I would be totally lost without uh, Kate MNJ's help. So uh, and then, you know, when we get to the Wednesday before. So this is the Wednesday before Dayton, where we have registration from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And uh you know, all the students are showing up, getting their bags, getting their T-shirts, getting uh, all the materials for the class. You know, we have this huge textbook. And if you ever wanted to get textbooks from previous years, we have those on sale at DXEngineering.com. And, um, you know, that it's, it's really special. You can buy the textbook. It's very inexpensive. And a lot of the lectures on video are available right off the contestuniversity.com website. So you can go see what the the talks looked like in past years. Uh, the PowerPoint uh, slides are up there too. So there's a lot of resources that even if you can't make it to Contest University, you can get the book, you can look at the videos, you can get the PowerPoint slides, and you can share it with your club. Um, you can share it with your contest team, and you can learn and experience all the great ideas that come up our, about because of Contest University. Yeah, it's so great to come away with that bag full of of stuff. You know, you got your T-shirt in there, you got your your book in there that has all the notes in it, and a notepad to take care of everything. Uh, sometimes coupons we even had pl 259s last year tell them a little about about the pl 259 last year that was interesting yeah you know and that's these are the things that really uh can help everybody you know neil everybody has a pl 259 right and so that's that's what it's all about is finding those things that we can help everybody with you know, uh, we don't want to talk about huge antennas and huge towers. We want to talk about tri-banders. We want to talk about wires. We want to talk about antenna tuners. We want to talk about maximizing your radio, whether it's a TS-590, an IC-7300. 
uh, and FT897, whatever your radio is, you know, helping you get the most out of that so that you can get on the air in these contest weekends and make some contacts and feel like you're progressing and above all, Neil, having fun. Yeah, and, and I was just amazed at, okay, now you have to use this many turns of tape and you have to use this kind of tape. And then you can put this sealer on there, and there's this kind of sealer and that kind of sealer. And it's like, wait a minute, this is a this is a whole like forty five minutes on just how to put a PL two fifty nine on, <laughs> and it's it's fabulous. And it really matters, Neil. It does. Um, you know, making uh, I've been to so many hams houses that are frustrated, and they say, you know, why don't I get out better, or why do I have so much noise? And, Neil, they didn't go and solder the, the shield, you know. They just jammed it into the back of the connector and hoped for the best. And so when you show them how to do it right, and then it makes such a difference. But, you know, Neil, everything that you know and I know, we learn from somebody else. And so that's why it's really, really important these days when there aren't as many one-on-one -on -one Elmers to have a contest university Elmer where if you can come to Dayton, great. If you can't, you can watch the videos. You can look at the textbook. You can read the slides. I mean, you can get the, the contest university experience, a lot of it for free on the Internet with videos and slides. So it these little things like PL259s and getting the, you know, spending a little bit extra money to get good quality ones makes a huge difference in every station, no matter, you know, how good your radio is or how good your antennas are. Well, it's, it's all great information. And, and uh, so definitely check out the, the videos uh, on contestuniversity.com and the, the textbooks available at dxengineering.com. Um, so run down for us real quick uh, how somebody uh, can sign up, uh, how we can do the registration, um, and what that entails uh, for this year. And uh, then we're going to talk about a couple of other things real quick before we go to break. So it, it's real simple, Neil, and it's just go to, it, it, even if you just Google Contest University, the first thing that comes up is contestuniversity, all one word, dot com. And that is the website. You go there and you click on registration it asks you, you your name and address and your T-shirt size and all the particulars. Um, sends you to a, a credit card or PayPal engine, and boom, you're done. And then you show up, preferably on Wednesday night, but some some guys don't arrive till very early on Thursday morning. And uh, you show your PayPal receipt, your credit card receipt, and Terry Kate MNJ and the rest of the Contest University staff is there to greet you, get you fixed up with that bag you just talked about, your T-shirt, and you get a little bit of breakfast, and then you hold on to your chair because, you know, it starts fast at 8 o'clock in the morning, and it goes nonstop till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's the quickest nine hours that you will ever go through because – you know, there are over 20 different presentations that go on in four classrooms. It is an amazing day and a great way to start your hamvention experience. All right. So that's contestuniversity.com, and you can go there and sign up. And uh, there's even a discount if you have uh, made a presentation to your club. You want to talk about that? Yes. You know, I'm... I am all about uh, giving back, and I want to encourage uh, folks that uh, give presentations or write articles for newsletters or write articles for the National Contest Journal. Um, so we have a $10 discount. If you've given a talk or will give a talk before Contest University 2017 to your local club on anything uh, about amateur radio you give a talk you write an article we're going to give you ten dollars off so it makes it 75 dollars. it's a great value you get breakfast you get lunch you get cookies you get coffee you get a super textbook the whole bag the t-shirt 
it's an incredible deal. And I want to thank also Yasme uh, for their participation. They've sponsored the audiovisual equipment at Contest University. So without Yasme and the Northern California DX Foundation, we wouldn't be able to deliver such a quality product at, at these low prices. But it's a break-even deal. And uh, thanks to Yasme and NCDXF and also the American Radio Relay League for uh, helping out with all the things that they do. And uh, I, you know, Neil, without ICOM America and DX Engineering, you know, helping with uh, the T-shirts, the instructor shirts, all the things that it takes to make this thing go. It's, it's just a, a fabulous uh, way of giving back from ICOM, DX Engineering, NCDXF. CQ Magazine has been there since the start. But without Ray Novak, N9JA, we wouldn't be doing this. Well, thanks to all those uh, involved in this. And, and Terry's uh, just, she's on top of everything and uh, just a great crew all the way around. So check that out at contestuniversity.com and, and get signed up for that uh, while there's still some space available for Dayton this year. Well, we need to take a break soon, but uh, I, I I don't want to neglect uh, a, a couple of other things that you've got going on uh, during Hamvention. And um, we've already talked about Dr. Scove being at Contest University. She's uh, also going to be at the Antenna Forum that you're directing. And uh, then also um, Scott, KA9FOX, also redesigned the Contest Super Suite website uh, recently, and uh, all the information is up there on that. So give us a quick, just, just one or two minute rundown on those. So the, the place to go if you really want to have fun in the evening hours and during the day on Thursday is to go to Contest Super Suite. That's all one word, ContestSuperSuite.com. And there you will find the schedule of events that starts on Wednesday night uh, with this, uh, you know, the CTU registration goes Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. And ContestSuperSuite.com outlines where to go, what time things are going to happen, when the pizza is going to show up, when the spurious emissions band is going to play. And there is a, a tab on that website called Contesting related events and if you go there it tells you hour by hour the things that are really targeted towards contesters and uh you know who is sponsoring what what's happening during the day at a hamvention for instance uh, friday daytime tells you about the antenna forum friday night it tells you about the top band dinner tells you about the spurious emissions band and then the pizza party that happens after that. You know, Neil, we'll go through 120 pizzas this year at, at, at the Dayton Crown Plaza over That's those a four, lot of pizza. <laughs> over those four <laughs> nights. And, uh, it, and it's just great because we're, we're meeting new friends. we got a lot of old friends. But uh, it's all about having a great time with the best hobby in the world, amateur radio. And then on Saturday... The Ritty Contest Forum is explained. All the, the titles are up there now for that, as well as the Contest Forum is there. And then Saturday evening, Neil, is really the, the, the epitome of what this is all about because it's the contest dinner. And, the, and we're celebrating our 25th anniversary of having the contest dinner at the Crown Plaza in Dayton. And this started out with about 170 people uh, attending back in 1992. And now this year we'll have over 500 people attend the contest dinner. It is the largest gathering in the evenings of dinners, of any dinner that goes on at Dayton. And uh, the, the 2017 inductees into the CQ Contest Hall of Fame will be given. Uh, we'll have a great program and uh and lots of great door prizes so it is an evening to be remembered many contest clubs sign up they buy a whole table we recognize them clubs are the backbone of what we're doing in this hobby 
So it is a very, very special event. And so, Neil, I hope you can not only participate in Contest University, but come down and, and spend some time in the evening at the Crown Plaza and and have fun at the Super Suite. Yeah, and we're looking forward here uh, in two weeks. We've got the Spurious Emissions Band on. In fact, we, we recorded part of that as they were uh, rehearsing. So we're really looking forward to, to doing a show just uh, on them. So that's coming up here in two weeks. So right now I need to take a break, but we'll be back and uh, give you a chance to call and ask some uh, questions with Tim Duffy, K3LR, right after this word. You're listening to our Dayton Hamvention preview shows here on Ham Talk Live. Every show from now until our live audience show on Hamvention Eve, we're giving away a DX80 off center fed dipole courtesy of Radio Waves. So be sure to listen to the show live each week and listen for instructions on how you can call in and win from Radio Waves and Ham Talk Live. Check out the custom built antennas and pre made antennas at radiowaves.com. That's Radio Waves, W A V Z. Dot com And thanks to Radio Waves for their gracious donation of prizes to the show. CQ, CQ, CQ. You're listening to Ham Talk Live with Neil Rapp. Join the conversation. Call us on voice with Skype at Ham Talk Live or give us a call at 812-NET-HAM-1. That's 812-638-4261. Now, here's more Ham Talk Live. All right. Well, be sure to listen uh, to Ham Talk Live every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time right here at hamtalklive.com and check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram feeds. Uh, just search for Ham Talk Live. Well, tonight we have an added bonus to the call-in segment. We're going to give away a DX80 off-center fed dipole from Radio Waves. Compliments of uh, Emmett over at Radio Waves. So uh, this week we're going to take the best call of the night. So to register for the contest, all you have to do is call in, identify yourself, and ask your question. And after the show, our crack staff will be picking which call they thought was the best, and we'll announce it on next week's show. So uh, it's time for your calls now. If you have a question for Tim, K3LR, the number to call is 812-NET-HAM-1, 812-638-4261, or you can Skype us. Uh, the Skype name is Ham Talk Live. Uh, you can also tweet us at Ham Talk Live as well, and um, we want to... Take your calls, so we'll open up the lines right now for that. So give us a call. And I know you've all, uh, in your um, emails this week, you also mentioned about the six-meter barbecue that uh, DX Engineering and Flex Radio uh, are teaming up to sponsor. Um, go ahead and mention a little bit about that because uh, that's uh, going to keep that event going. Yes, you know, this is a great event uh, that uh, many of the serious VHF, UHF crowd are very familiar. Uh, started by Dick Hansen and Jimmy Trabig down in uh, uh, Austin, Texas, the six meter barbecue. Uh, and we're going to hold it at the end of September. Uh, you know, Jimmy and Dick decided that uh, this year they didn't want to have it at their home, so we're going to have it at a nice hotel. And uh, we're just in the final stages of negotiating all the, uh, the food rates and the hotel rates and all the things that it takes to do this. But rest assured, we're going to have tremendous presentations all day on Saturday. I believe it's September 29th. All day on Saturday, uh, all great presentations, just like you used to have at Dick and Jimmy's place on VHF, UHF topics. Uh, you know, six meter optimization, what's the latest antenna systems, what are the trick transverters, all the things that make UHF VHF really special. And we're going to make it very affordable, but you got to get to Austin, Texas to do this. And you, you watch the website. It's just being constructed. We wanted to get the word out there, Neil, so that they, there would be a save the date. Uh, so guys would know this isn't going to just, you know, fade away. The six meter barbecue is alive and well. Flex Radio and DX Engineering got together and said, 
Let's go host it. Let's make sure everybody can get together and have some fun. Watch the website. It's 6, S-I-X, Meter Barbecue. So 6MeterBBQ.com. S-I-X-M-E-T-E-R-B-B-Q.com. 6MeterBBQ.com is where you're going to find the latest information. Look for the website here in the next few weeks, and it's going to be really special and a great time down in Austin, Texas, the end of September. All right, another great event, and uh, thanks to uh, Flex Radio and, and DX Engineering for um, sponsoring that, and uh, we'll be uh, talking about that a little bit later on in the year. And it uh, looks like we have a caller right now, so let's take a call. Who is this? Uh, my name is Marty Soloway, KC1CW. There he is. It's Marty Chicken with Fries. What's up, Marty? So first, let me vouch on the quality of that pizza. Uh, the, the super sweet pizza is not, is not the cheap stuff. They have the real deal. And uh, my question to Tim is, uh, what I, you, you, you touch on the, uh, the, the uh, six-meter barbecue a little bit, but I'd love to hear more about kind of the content of the presentations that go on there. Well, you know, Marty, we're just putting those together right now. Um, it, you know, a lot like what I do uh, getting content for Contest University, which I think has been pretty successful uh, for the past 11 years. I'm going to do the same things uh, as we're putting together the uh, VHF UHF six meter barbecue. So uh, stay tuned. We don't have it all done. It's not all in the can. We got to get through Dayton first. And we're, all your we're really looking forward to seeing you at Dayton. And I know you're one of our, our star scholarship guys coming in. And we're proud of you. Glad you run the won the rookie trophy. And really excited about all the things you're doing to give back to our contesting sport. And, uh, and congrats on the extra. You sweet to you, Tim. I appreciate it. Well, aren't you sweet? And uh, I'm really excited for uh, Dayton, and we really appreciate all that you're doing at ICOM and DX Engineering is and the whole rest of the game for all the festivities at Dayton. Great job. Keep it up. Thanks, Marty. All right. Thanks for calling in, Marty. Appreciate it. 812 Net Ham 1 is the phone number uh, to talk to Tim Duffy, K3LR, the director of Contest University. And um, you can also Skype us at Ham Talk Live. And again, uh, we'll be giving away that antenna uh, for the best call of the night. So all you have to do is give us a call and chime in here uh, about uh, Contest University or any of the related activities. Um, now, I know that um, last year when we, when you were on the show, we talked a little bit about um, Contest University being uh, emulated, duplicated in uh, some other countries. Uh, can you give us a little bit of an update on, on what's going on there? Well, actually, uh, I, I have been uh, working with many other Contest University staffs, Neil, in other countries, uh, we just finished another contest university in Italy uh, and <laughs> just outside of Monte Cari. And uh, I've actually uh, been over there twice and been a, uh, a professor at uh, CTU Italy. Uh, they have so much demand for contest university in Italy. We have two of them a year in Italy. So it has really taken off. Um, I will be participating in the Contest University in Germany uh, this July at the Friedrichshafen uh, uh, Ham Radio Ham Fest. And also I, I will all, uh, fly to uh, England and be a part of the Contest University United Kingdom. But we've had them in uh, Russia, in Australia, in Brazil, in Finland. And uh, I, I also uh, here had two of them uh, down in Puerto Rico uh, pretty recently. So, you know, the whole Contest University theme has caught on. Uh, we use the, the, the basis of the contesting ethics, Contester's Code of Ethics is our premise, which is basically do the right thing and be a good sport 
and uh, and enjoy the hobby. And and most of all, Neil, give back. You know, help others. Be an Elmer. Be a good Elmer. Uh, help the hobby grow. And uh, you know, share the frequencies and enjoy the ride. Sounds like some uh, some great stuff, and, and I'm glad that uh, it's been able to uh, spread throughout the world and and uh, and get all this information. Because, like you said, you you know, we, everything we've learned, we've we've learned from somebody else, and so now that. Uh, you're putting all of this together in, in a nice, neat little package in a, in a fun-filled day, um, and now uh, spreading that internationally is just just fabulous. And, and again, thank you for for all of your efforts in in getting all of this and uh, all the support from uh, from all of those involved, in, including your employer, DX Engineering, and uh, and we're just so grateful for. Uh, for everything that you do. Um, 812 net ham one is the number. We're just about out of time here, but, uh, if you want to call and, um, uh, ask a question or, uh, offer a comment, please do that. Uh, 812 net ham one is the number and you can still get into the, uh, giveaway if you want to do that. Um, since I don't see anything here, let, let's talk just briefly again. Oh, we do have a call, so hold on just a second. And we will take this call. Who is this? Hello? Hello, are you there? Hello, Neil? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, go yeah, ahead. Who is this? No. Yep, I hear you. Who is this? Oh, we must be having Skype difficulties. Because I heard him there. But uh, that didn't that didn't work. So, well, sorry uh, we missed out on your call, but uh, please try to uh, to give us a call again. Well, Tim, I think that's going to uh, wrap things up for tonight. But uh, thanks again for coming on the show again and telling us all about Contest University and all these great things. And I look forward to seeing you here in just a few weeks. That sounds great, Neil. Thanks very much for your kind invitation and for having me on the show tonight. It was uh, It's always special to talk to you. And thanks for your support of everything that we're doing uh, with Contest University and a lot of the events at Dayton and amateur radio in general. Uh, you're giving back in a big way, and I, I think that is fabulous. So thanks again, Neil. Well, you, you're very welcome, and thank you for for all your support in in doing that and uh, and helping out with our uh, group at school. It's been uh, been a big help, and so we really, really appreciate that. Well, that is a wrap for this week's Ham Talk Live. Thanks to Tim Duffy, K3LR, and everyone out there in cyberspace for listening and calling in. We'll invite you all back next Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time when Carol Perry, WB2MGP, will be here to talk about the Dayton Hamvention Youth Forum and Instructors Forum. And for a list of all of our upcoming guests, visit Ham Talk Live. Com. So for now, this is Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, saying 7375, and may the good DX be yours.